Hi, and welcome once again to the General Knowledge Quiz Game, Quiz Night. Now, as the weeks go by, we get closer and closer to finding the Quiz Night Champions 1989. Tonight, it's a second round tie for you with a team from Chester and a team from Seven Oaks. So let's meet those teams. And first, from Seven Oaks, Halfway House. Hello, I'm Michael McIntyre. On my right is my brother Simon, and on my left, David Priest. And up against Halfway House, it's the People's Flag from Chester. Hello, I'm Peter Byrne. On my right is Alan Whitehead. On my left is Garth Goddard. We've met the players. Let's play the game with round one. Both teams involved in a race against the clock here. 100 seconds to answer as many questions as they possibly can. We ask the questions individually. Two points for correct answer. One point if they have to pass it on to the neighboring teammate. Let's start with halfway house. And we start along at the end with Simon. And your team's 100 seconds starts now. What did the term Brother Jonathan refer to in the 18th century? Pass. Pass. It was America. Later became Uncle Sam. Your question, Michael. In which country is the winter sports resort of Kitzbühel? Austria. Correct. David, which river flows through Rouen in France? Pass. Seine. Is correct. Simon, your question. Who led the defeated forces at the Battle of Gettysburg? Robert E. Lee. Is correct. Michael, in which film did Vivian Lee play Blanche Dubois? Oh. I'll pass. I don't know, I'm sorry. No, David, a streetcar named Desire. Your question. What's the most southerly point of mainland England? Land's End. Is wrong. The Lizard. Simon, in Scots and Gaelic place names, what does inch mean, as in inch murren? Pass. Pass. No, island or land by a river. Michael, who was principal conductor of the London Symphony Orchestra from 1969 to 1979? Andre Previn. Is correct. David, which duo made the record, I Won't Bleed For You? A hit in 1988. No? Dunno. Simon? Climby Fisher. What's the only London borough whose name begins with I? Islington. Correct. Michael, as what did the Finn Alvar Alto become famous? Pass. Singer? No, he was an architect. David, what's the more familiar name today for the green fruit called Chinese gooseberry? Lime? No, it was the kiwi fruit. So that's a very good start for you. Nine scored by Halfway House from Seven Oaks. So, 100 seconds now for the people's flag to answer questions. As before, two points for a correct answer, one point if you have to pass it on to your neighboring teammate. So, we start with Alan, and the 100 seconds starts now. In which U.S. state is Cape Cod? Pass it on. Massachusetts. Correct, Peter. Your question. Who wrote the original story in which the film 2001 A Space Odyssey was based? Pass. Arthur C. Clarke. Well picked up, Garth. Your question. Who led the British Army at Omdurman in 1898, for which he was made a lord? Kitchener. Correct. Alan, what are the buildings of the Houses of Parliament also known as? Pass on. Palace of Westminster. Yes, and your question, Peter. What's the unit of currency in Poland? Zloty. Correct. Garth, which weekly newspaper is referred to by the initials T-H-E-S? Pass. The Times Higher Education Supplement. Yes, is correct, Alan. And your question, what's the medical name for the shin bone? Tibia. Yes. Peter, what's the ninth month of the Muslim year? Pass. Ramadan. Is correct. Your question, Garth. In which year did the restoration of the monarchy take place in Britain? Pass. 1660. Is correct. May the 29th. Alan, which novelist's real name is David Cornwell? John Carey. Yes. Peter, where were the 1972 Winter Olympics held? Lake Placid. Wrong. Sapporo in Japan. Garth, what is celebrated on July the 12th in Northern Ireland? The Battle of the Boeing. Is correct. Alan, in which range of hills does the Thames rise? Pass it on. Cotswolds. Is correct. Your question, Peter. What was the title of Princess Michael of Kent's book? No point in even continuing with the question. It's a very good round for you because at the end of it, it's nine for a half we house from Seven Oaks, but in the lead with 17, it's the People's Flag from Chester.
So a very good start for the people's flag, but a long way to go and lots more points can be won and also lost as we get further on in the competition. So this round, we want both captains to have their fingers on the buzzers. This time they can confer, but they must confer before actually buzzing. Fifteen questions in total to be answered, <laughs> two points for a correct answer, but this time it's one point away if a wrong answer is given. And then the whole question can be passed across to the opposite side, who can in turn pick up one point. So. Both teams, captains, Peter and Michael, fingers on the buzzers, and we start with this question. What was the title of Archibald Philip Primrose, the Prime Minister, whose horses three times won the derby? <coughs> the people's flag? Lord Rosebery. Is correct. What's the popular name for the larva of the crane fly that feeds on grass roots? <coughs> the people's flag? Daddy Long Legs. Is wrong. Halfway house, can you pick it up? One Carrot way from fly. the flag. Carrot fly. Is wrong. Leather jacket. Uh. In American slang, what's a leather neck? Anyone buzzing? No one? I have to tell you, a marine. Which major volcano is in the Lipari Islands, north of Sidley, and it's still active? The people's flag? Stromboli. Stromboli is correct. Which gold cup, named after the ground where it is played, is awarded annually for the British Open Polo Championship? Anyone in? No one buzzing? No? <coughs> Have we house, you're in. The Cowdrey Cup. The Cowdrey Cup. Cowdrey Cup is correct after Cowdrey Park. Who won the 1988 British Chess Championship? People's flag? Nigel Short. Is wrong. One away. Halfway house? No idea. No. Jonathan Mestel. In 1988, the Old Vic staged a revival of Bussy d'Ambois, written in 1604. But by whom? <coughs> People's flag? George Chapman. Is correct. Who is the managing director of TV AM? No one? Halfway house? Bruce, Bruce Gingle. Yes, is correct. Halfway <coughs> stage. Remember, though, the minute you buzz, you must give me an answer. What was the business of resurrection men in the 19th century? <coughs> Halfway house? Body snatching. Correct. Digging up corpses to sell to anatomists. Five to go. Who succeeded Petain as effective head of the Vichy government in 1942 and was executed for collaboration in 1945? Darla is wrong. One point away from the people's flag. Halfway house. No. No. Pierre Laval. Mm. Zimurgi, or Zimurgi, is a branch of chemistry connected with what, especially? No one in? No. I have to tell you. It's brewing or fermentation. <laughs> Addison, Garrick, and Dr. Samuel Johnson were all educated in which Midlands Cathedral City? <coughs> the people's flag? Litchfield. Is correct. Three to go. In grammar, there are six standard cases of which nominative, accusative, and genitive are three. Name one of the others. <coughs> Halfway house. Vocative. Vocative. Is correct. You're going to have dative or ablative as well, or ablative. So, two to go. Who said in 1933, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself in his first inaugural address? People's flag. Roosevelt. Is correct. Franklin D. Which Swedish physicist made precise measurements of the lines in the spectrum and had a very small unit of length named after Havre House? Angstrom? Yes, Anders Angstrom. Well done. So at the end of that round, it's a little bit closer because on 19, halfway highs from Seven Oaks, but still in the lead on 24, the people's flag from Chester. We've reached the specialist stage now. Both teams have nominated a specialist who will answer five questions on his chosen subject. Five questions, three points for each correct answer. However, if it's given as a wrong answer, it then gets passed across to the opposite specialist who can pick it up for the full three marks. So, going from the people's flag in Chester, it's Peter answering questions on history. But let's start with Halfway House. And there it's Michael answering questions on the human body. So five questions for you. Let's put the spotlight on Michael. Fifteen points in total can be gained here. Question number one. Whereabouts are your intercostal muscles? Uh, in the chest, between the ribs. Yes, exactly, between the ribs. Three points. 
What is the topmost vertebrae called? Or yeah. vertebra, I should The say. atlas. The atlas is correct for a further three. The hormone, aldosterone, controls the level of what in the body? Sugar. Is wrong. Peter, can you pick it up? Adrenaline. Is wrong. It was salt. Fourth question. What do we call the thin plate of bone and cartilage between the two nostrils? The Velma. Is wrong. Peter, from the people's flag. The sinus. No, it was septum. Septum. And your final question. How many more permanent teeth than milk teeth do humans normally have? Uh, 12. 12 is correct. 32 permanent minus 20 milk. So that gets you three out of a possible five, which gives you nine marks. Adding those into the total, it means that halfway house from Seven Oaks are in the lead at the moment with 28, leading the people's flag here on 24. However, of course, Peter's still to go in his special subject, which is history. That will be happening in just a moment. So join us again after the break and quiz night. <laughs> Welcome back to Quiz Night. You join us at a very tense moment, right in the middle of the specialist round. 24 for the People's Flag, 28 for Halfway House. And it's the turn of the People's Flag and Captain Peter to answer questions on his specialist subject, which is history. So the spotlight now falls on Peter. Five questions, three points for each correct answer. And if you get it wrong, it goes across to your fellow specialist on the opposing side, and that is Michael. So, your five questions, Peter. Start with this one. During whose reign was Archbishop Thomas Cranmer burned at the stake? Mary. Can you be a bit more specific? Queen Mary the First. Mary the First is absolutely correct. Who led the Labour Party immediately before Clement Attlee? George Lansbury. Is correct for a further three points. The first Battle of St Albans in 1455 marked the start of which conflict? The Wars of the Roses. Is correct for another three. Mm -hmm. In which city was General Gordon killed in 1885? Khartoum. Is correct for three more. And your fifth and final question. Besides Guy Fawkes, who was the principal organiser of the gunpowder plot of 1605? No. No. Michael? No idea. No. The answer was Robert Catesby. That was a bit of a shame. Just missed out in a full house for your good self there, Peter. But that was very good indeed. Four correct. Three for each answer. Gives you 12. And at the end of that round, it's 28 for halfway house Seven Oaks. But in the lead on 36, the people's flag from Chester. This is the round which I must admit I do enjoy, but sometimes our teams don't. Five envelopes beside me here, each containing a specialist subject. Five <laughs> questions on that subject to be answered. But the problem is the teams don't know what they're going to answer questions on. So let's start with Halfway House from Seven Oaks. Pick an envelope. We'll try to. You'll try to. Now then, five questions for you. Three points for each correct answer. Stay alert, people's flag, because you can pick them up for three marks if they're answered incorrectly. Now then, you're answering questions on King Arthur. Cakes. <laughs> King Arthur. Oh. And your first question. In legend, who was King Arthur's father? Luther Pendragon. Yes. Is correct for three. Whose trilogy about King Arthur is called The Once and Future King? A lot of conferring going on, but are we going to get an answer? No. No. <laughs> Was a good answer. People's flag, Peter, can you say pick it up? T.H. White. T.H. White gets you three bonus points. Your third question. Who played King Arthur in Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Hmm? Graham Chapman. Graham Chapman gets you three. 
And who played King Arthur in the later film, The Spaceman and King Arthur, called Unidentified Flying Oddball in the USA? I'm sure that was a big help to you. <laughs> Michael? Kenneth Moore? Kenneth Moore is correct. Oh. That was in 1979. Well picked up there. Your fifth question. Who wrote about Arthur in his Historia Regum Britanniae, written about 1136? He was alive then. <laughs> Chaucer is wrong. Peter? Gildas is wrong as well. It was Geoffrey of Monmouth. Oh. Thank goodness she didn't ask me to read the question again. So, three correct there gives you nine. We add those into the points. 37 you've now got. 39 people's flag. And Peter, as captain, your duty to pick an envelope. Which one's it going to be? One. Number one. Can you remember what you answered questions on before in your first round time? We didn't answer many on food. Right. How will you do on geography? <laughs> well, yeah, Not bad. A, a somewhat fairer subject for you. Five questions for you, three points for each correct answer. Which arbitrary line is indicated on maps at 66 degrees and 33 minutes north? Arctic Circle. Arctic Circle gets you three. Thank you for to me. What's Cumbria's most northerly lake, which is near Cockermouth? Bassenthwaite. Bassenthwaite is also correct for three. What was Indonesia formerly called? Dutch East Indies. Dutch East Indies. Dutch East Indies. Everyone in with the answer there. What's the principal seaside resort in Guerrero on the, on the Pacific coast of Mexico? Guerrero. That's G-U-E-R-R-E-R-O. -R -R -E Acapulco. Acapulco is also correct. And your fifth and final question in this round. What was the Zaire River formerly called? Congo. The Congo is correct. And that was a full house. Five out of five, <laughs> 50 marks. That deserves a round of applause. Well done. And that certainly put you side in a strong position because in 37, halfway house from Seven Oaks, but further in the lead on 54, the people's flag from Chester. <laughs> well, the fifth and final round, just about to play that. Two points in this round for a correct answer, but two points away for a wrong answer, and it's 100 seconds of questions left to answer. So a very, very tight competition indeed. But Alan over there from the People's Flag knows a lot about pressure, because I believe you actually took part in Mastermind. Oh, yes, many, many years ago. In fact, it was the first broadcast of Mastermind. Really? And I, I failed beautifully. <laughs> what was your specialty subject then? It was... It's a long story, I'll keep it short. I asked to be asked about the history of the visual arts from, from the Second World War to 72, but they gave me the whole run of questions from the, the earliest times, which I thought was very unfair. Very unfair. But Otherwise, you would have done very well. Absolutely. But that I'm on your side. Say, yes, that was the other <laughs> side, of course. <laughs> Exactly, that's why we're so fair here. Anyway, so it is the fifth and final round. A lot of points can be won, and of course, as always, lost here too. Score standing at 37 to 54 in favour of the people's flag. Everyone, though, fingers on your individual buzzers, and the final 100 seconds of quiz night starts now. What's Leningrad's principal ballet company called? <coughs> Have we house Simon? Carol. Correct. Which liquid used to clarify jellies and liquors is obtained from the swim bladders of fish? <coughs> it's people's flag, Garth. Mm, glycerin. Wrong. Isinglass, two away. Mm. Which major canal, nearly 100 kilometres long, crosses Scotland? <coughs> Halfway high, Simon. Caledonian. Canal. Correct. System of locks and canals. PD is the chemical symbol for what? <coughs> Halfway high, Michael. Lead. Wrong. Palladium. Which makeup expert helped prepare the princess? Halfway high, Simon. It's going to say Max Factor. <laughs> Wrong. Barbara Daly, two away. Which American inventor founded the Kodak Company? <coughs> Have we high Simon? Eastman. Correct, George Eastman. At sea, which single word can mean a rope, a corner of a sail, food, or a change of direction? 
Halfway house, Simon. Tack. Correct. Which unit of heat is equal to 100,000 British thermal units? No one? <phone rings> People's flag, Garth? The firm. Is correct. Which Caribbean country did General Henri Nomphy take over in 1988? No one in? People's flag, Peter. Haiti. Is correct. Which Keep Fit demonstrator on breakfast TV was called the Green Goddess? No one? I have to tell you, Diana Moran. Which part of your body is most likely to display the symptoms of alopecia? <coughs> have we high Simon? The scalp. Yes, it's baldness. At which university was the poet Philip Larkin a librarian? Have we high Simon? Oh. Correct. The novels, and I'll not even start reading that last question. Oh. A very good comeback from Halfway House and Seven Oaks, but unfortunately it's not enough because it's 45 to them. But the winners with 56, the people's flag from Chester. <laughs> so it's commiserations to Halfway House from Seven Oaks, but a very good contest from yourselves. And who knows, we might well be seeing you in the future rounds because the highest scoring runner-up in this second round goes through. 45 at the moment stands as the highest score. So we may well see you back. I'm also delighted to have a quick chat with David at the end because a man who's shown plenty of gumption because you were a clerk in the law courts, is that That's right? That's right, I was a trainee clerk at the magistrate's court. But you decided to <coughs> go a little bit better, didn't you? Well, something like that, yes. I thought I could do just as well as some of the people who came before us. Some of the lawyers, in fact. So that's what you're now a, a law student. That's right, yes. And how many years will it be before you...? Uh, it's going to be about four, if everything goes well. Right. Well, actually, it's quite good that you are going to become a lawyer because the man sitting to your side might need you. That's Michael, because on his way here this evening, I can reveal exclusively that Michael actually managed to stop the train. Um, yes. I was in the um, little boy's room, as it were, and... They'd graffitied out the thing which said where the flush was. So I was looking for the thing to do it. And I saw this little green domey job. So I pressed that and the train stopped. <laughs> 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 I then realised, yes. found it and sort of met the guard as I was just coming out of yes. the apartment. And that's his story and he's sticking to it. <laughs> well, that's it. Don't forget to join us next week. Thank you very much, Steve, for your company. Till the next night, it's good night from Quiz Night. Thank you.